My name is Jeremiah Wood, and I am the pastor of student ministries at Chanute Church of the Nazarene. I am the pastor of worship ministry at the Chanute Church of the Nazarene, and I am the church plant pastor for Ragamuffin College Church. Uh, Ragamuffin College Church is really a, a place where um, college students and millennials um, have an opportunity to encounter Jesus Christ in an incredibly authentic way. Uh, to be able to grow in community with one another and, and really catch a vision for what God has for their life. Before I ever planted a church or even got involved with church planting, I always associated church planting uh, with a negative kind of an aspect. Like church planting was always a result of maybe a split in the church, always a result of maybe a leader who was rebelling against the status quo and and so I always associated church planting with with a rebellious type spirit along with it and then I got introduced to uh, church planting through our uh, pastor and through an organization called DCPI and I began to learn more about what church planting really was. The reason I planted uh, a church was because not only did I feel like the Lord had a calling um, or gave me a vision for a church plant, but I believe that the Lord was showing me that, that church planting really is uh, the greatest means of evangelism that, uh, that we can possibly do. A sobering thought, over the last 10 years of ministry, I've only led one person uh, to the Lord. And through church planting, over this last year, I've led more than 40 people to the Lord personally. And, and it's just been an incredible wake-up call uh, for me and, and really for my motivation in ministry. We're Chris and Kelly Diller, and we are going to pastor the Erie Church. The, I think one of the visions that, that we have received is, is that um, we need to further the kingdom in these little towns um, where, where they're kind of lost and forgotten. There's not, you know, not a whole lot going on, but um, we need to revive them. We had no experience uh, in church planning at all. We didn't have any idea of, of, of any kind of church planning model. We really didn't know anything about it. Well, we hope that people will get, people will get saved. Um, we hope that the, the groups of people that are in every small town that aren't connected with churches in any way, shape, or form will receive Christ. I, I know for me, the most surprising thing is how um, quickly God moves, how things, uh, doors open up and, and um, things kind of snowball when, you know, we finally said, okay, we'll do this. I, I've never considered planning a church and still to this day don't really consider myself a church planner. I don't, uh, but we just want to be on. obedient. Yeah, you know, there's a need, um, and we just we just want to be vessels. Mm -hmm. My name is Karen Almond, and I am the pastor of Refuge on the Edge. I really didn't know what a church planning was, other than, like I said, just a pastor wanting to build a bigger church or something like that. I planted a church because I felt like God was really laying on my heart a need in our community for something different than the um, conventional church. And so God just really began laying on my heart that we need to go out into our community and and seek seek out the lost and go to where they are at, they are at. And that's how the refuge actually came about. The name evolved from just the area that it was in that it was going to be a refuge for uh, people who were hurting and to give them hope and encouragement. When we first started this plant, and it really took off quicker than I would have even, even dreamed, we had no resources whatsoever. Another church uh, was donating some money towards this. All of a sudden we had money, and then I had a little girl that heard about it. Um, about the refuge and she did a lemonade stand and she came and brought me $14 from that lemonade stand and said, you know, I felt like God wanted me to give you this and that, like I said, God just began opening doors that 
amazed me. I mean, I just stood, stood in amazement of what God was doing in this. My name is Ed Stout, and I'm a human source resource assistant with the Schnuck Church in Nazarene. Uh, I've been a member of this church for over 40 years. Right now, um, we're in the process of helping the Hispanics services. Most witnessing the thing I've seen in church planning is, is, is a tremendous growth and the need out there in the world now. But, you know, there's a cultural gap there with Americanized and, and Hispanics. Uh, we have issues, of, you know, they're kind of their own private little community. The DCPI training that we took out of Hutchinson, Kansas this last uh, spring was an excellent program. It's an eye-opener. Um, I encourage everybody to to take this course. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it, and it equips you to be prepared and gets you a new mindset to think outside the box. Instead of within the realm of the church doors, you can think outside the doors now and, and what the world can open up. I personally have been affected by this church planning program. It's just the fact that how many souls that we came forward in this service. You know, our primary goal is to save souls. Never give up. Never give up hope. Have compassion for people. People need to know that you're genuine. They need to know you want to you for real. They don't want nobody to be fake. That's where it's turned a lot of people away is because there's a lot of you know, fake issues out there in the world and, and they can read you. I am Doug Jacket, and I am the Connections Pastor at uh, the Mother Church here in Chinook, Kansas. What God has intended for us to do is, is to not be satisfied within the walls of our church, but to go to where the, the needs are and the people are and, um, and do whatever it takes to, to, to draw their interest in and to get them in and love on them. The most surprising thing that I've seen in church planning um, probably appeared uh, the night that I attended the Ragamuffin um, uh, night at the, at the college. And, and at, the, at that time, there was about 60, 60 kids there. And um, basically, it's just a simple message taught and, and, uh, and given. And there, was, and there was an invitation given over 20 people, uh, 20 young lives, um, I believe, were changed um, that night. And that was probably the most impactful uh, night of a, of, of a church plant that I've seen. I've, I think that church planting is the way to go because it allows people to receive a vision from God and to run with it, you know, and I don't believe that's a coincidence. I believe that's God putting that vision in our hearts. And then now, um, now that we know what church planting is about, we're able to take those thoughts, develop a team and run with it and really reach people. The DCPI training is a valuable tool. Um, it, it's a lot of information um, in a short amount of time. But what it really does is it really just opens your eyes to the many um, opportunities that there are in our society. And they, they give you um, ways to uh, develop uh, yourself, your team, and they give you the tools to go out and, and to be able to, to start, a, start a church. I think church planning um, helps us to take the focus off of ourselves and to put, um, put the focus on others uh, outside our church walls. Um, we're going to where the need is. We're going to where um, those opportunities are and really, um, really just getting into their territory and, and loving on them. Uh, my name is Kevin McDonald, and I am the pastor at uh, Chinook Church in the Nazarene in Chinook, Kansas. When I got here uh, to Chinook, Kansas, the church was really um, in, in probably maybe the lowest valley that it had maybe been in since its initial existence. And uh, financially, the church was, was not in very good shape, and uh, the building was falling apart in a lot of areas, and, and um, very little kingdom growth that was kind of taking place. And then I interviewed with the board. One of the things that we talked about during my initial interview is that we're going to plant churches, and one of their responses was, um, "How can we plant churches when um, we can't even barely keep our own doors open?" And uh, and so we came in and, and uh, uh, cast fresh vision for the church, and really, um, the entire church 
Uh, and the leadership was a part of that vision. And, and we all felt like the, the Lord was calling us to plant churches. And what we've seen since the, the vision was cast is we've seen a handful of churches that have already been planted. We've seen um, Chanute Hispanic Church, which meets at our building on Sunday nights, our main building. We've seen Ragamuffin College Ministry, which meets at Neosho County Community College on Monday nights. We've seen Refuge on the Edge, which meets on the north side of town. Um, and uh, then we've seen our Erie, Kansas church plan, and we're already looking at um, other areas to plan as well. And so we've, we've planted uh, four churches with the hopes of planting 500 more if we can. Yeah, I think church planting has really changed our mindsets as a mother church. I think an old model that we seem to follow is the model of let's just grow a big church and try to get as many people as we can into our sanctuary on Sunday mornings. And, and it's fun to preach to a lot of people in your sanctuary on Sunday mornings. Uh, but it seems there, there'd be a new push and movement by the Spirit for church planting and, um, and, and to reach those outside of our walls. And so really our, our philosophy has become twofold. Why can we not grow the mother church while we plant churches at the same time? In our churches and as leaders in our churches, our people start to grasp a vision and start to grasp a hold of the thought that church is not about us. Church is about those outside of the four walls. And so really it's shifted a mindset from being, I just want to come to church and get fed. No, now I want to feed others. Um, I don't want to just come to church and, and, and hear a good message. I want to come to church and I want to receive a good message and then go and spread it uh, to those in the community. And so church planting has really changed our whole thoughts and process uh, from being inward to outward because church planting does that. It changes the culture.